Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever. There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain, and a cheese sky. Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese. <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow. Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have. Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun. <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese. I can see the whole world, and it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! <laughs> Told you it would be the most fun ever! <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Too <laughs> right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> Now for some decently strong cheese. <laughs> ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <sighs> <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm, it's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake! Happy birthday, Mandy! This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> Mandy Mouse! Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. They are drawing pictures. Children, today we have a visitor. Ooh. Mandy Mouse. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello! Mandy Mouse uses a wheelchair to get around. Mandy is spending the day at our playgroup. If she likes it, she will come every day. See you later, Mandy. 
Have fun. Bye, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. I'm Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa. Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> and I'm Susie Sheep. <laughs> We're drawing pictures. I drew the sun. Ooh. I drew a cloud. Ooh. I drew the sky. That's nice. I like drawing aeroplanes. Wow! That's a really good drawing. Thank you. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? Because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. Squeak! Okay, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, Pedro, no. Molly, Squeak. and Emily. <laughs> the children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules, and you're the not one holding them. Wrong. I say you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop? Wins. <laughs> okay. And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. Now Susie has it. Pass to Pedro. And now to Pepper. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. <laughs> to Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> Mandy, you're good. I know. I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can do it by myself. <laughs> I like... Hills. It is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Where I lived before, it was all flat. Everything is on a hill around here. My house is on a hill. The supermarket is on a hill. Rebecca Rabbit lives inside a hill. <laughs> it's all hills, hills, hills. <laughs> have we all had fun today, children? Yes! <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Aw, is it home time already? Yes, Mandy, it's home time. Hello, my sweet. Mummy! So, Mandy, you came today to see if you liked our playgroup. Yes. And do you like our playgroup? Yes, I love it. And would you like to come every day? Yes, please. Hooray! <laughs> Mandy Mouse loves the playgroup and everyone at playgroup loves Mandy Mouse. <laughs> Muddy festival. Pepper and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant! Yes, and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm, let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! This is the sandcastle area. Who likes 
it's making sandcastles. Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles! <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best! Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. <laughs> Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <gasps> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. <laughs> OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello! Are you ready to dance? Yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash Give them big splash here and a big splash there Give a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash a very muddy festival. Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. Grandpa Pig's birthday. Peppa and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. <laughs> Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Peppa. What do you mean? It's just a nice quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Pepper, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> Have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Peppa. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. 
I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat. It's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes. Because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Peppa, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable soak. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a mussel cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish... Uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish. And for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy birthday, Grandpa Big! Blow out the candles, Grandpa. <gasps> Hooray! Birthday party music, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is such fun. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Super Potato Movie. Pepper and George are going to see the Super Potato Movie at the cinema. Super Potatoes, get your Super Potatoes here! Ooh, could we get a Super Potato, please, Daddy? Is it made of plastic, Mr Fox? It's better than that. It's made of potato. Made of potato? Yes, it's a potato. Well, in that case, I'll have two, please. Would everyone please take their seats? The film is about to start. Ooh! <laughs> Now, does anyone need to go to the toilet? No, no Mummy Pig. Pig! Good, then let's go in. This is the cinema where the film will be shown. Hello, Rebecca. I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs Carrot. Help! Save me, Super Potato. <laughs> Super Potato, to the rescue! <laughs> Shush, Pepper. The film is about to start. <laughs> Super Potato, the movie! <laughs> Far away, in the land of fruit and vegetables, there is a problem. Help! My foot is stuck. We need a rescue! Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone call my name? <laughs> By the power of vegetables, I am here! You're my hero! Hooray! Mummy, I need the toilet! OK, come on then. Sorry, excuse us. Miss Rabbit is in the projector room. Is this the toilet? No, Peppa, this is the projector. What's a projector? It's the machine that shows the film you're watching. See? Oh, yes! There's Super Potato! <laughs> 
I get to watch Super Potato six times a day. Wow! I wish I was a superhero. You are a superhero to us, Miss Rabbit. You do all the important jobs. Yes, I have just cleaned the toilets. You'll find them down the corridor on your left. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hurry up! Mrs Carrot's about to be rescued again. Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone say my name? I am on my way! Hooray! What's happening now? Mrs Carrot got stuck in the mud. By the power of vegetables, I am here! You're my hero! Yay! I want to be a super potato when I grow up. Here comes the song bit. Oh. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, Super Potato. By the power of vegetables, I am actually here. Did you enjoy the movie, children? Yes! Show us how you fly! How do I fly? Like this! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema roof. Help! Call for Super Potato! That is Super Potato! Quick! Call for Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Did someone call my name? Help! Oh! I'm on my way! Yay! Help! Help! Miss Rabbit to the rescue! Help! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has rescued Super Potato! Wow! Oof. When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit, you are my hero! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is a superhero! <laughs> TV Land! Pepper and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato! Me too! Super Potato is the best! Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words Forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. please. OK, let's go to TV Land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes! Very good. Follow me. <laughs> Look, it's a potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. 
<laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing. The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. Sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us, us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course. Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. Pizza, pizza! It is almost lunchtime at Peppa's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour, tomatoes, cheese, and for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn, mushrooms, olives, pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah! Pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, hands, wash them nice and clean. clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> right, let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza! Peppa, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> And George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Ho, oh, oh, ho! This one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. <laughs> I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. <laughs> Good 
good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. <laughs> George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up. And George and I can do some playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Pepper! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, your pizza looks like you. Oh, thank you very much. And your pizza looks like you, Daddy. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Pepper. Does it? Oh, goody. And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world ever. <laughs> Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Stone Age Granny. Pepper and George are spending the day with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Granny! Granny! <laughs> oh, where's Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig is wearing a pretend beard. Today, I am a caveman. Ooh! Granny and her friends are pretending to be in the Stone Age. What's the Stone Age? Well, it was a long, long time ago. When people lived in caves, ate berries, and chased big hairy elephants called mammoths. Can we be Stone Age too? Of course you can. I've made you both costumes. Look, George, we're in the Stone Age. <laughs> <laughs> Come and see what we're doing in the garden. Here are Granny Wolf, Granny Dog and Madame Gazelle. Look, everyone. Here are Stone Age Pepper and George. Hello. We are digging a cave with our stone tools. Why don't you have buckets and spades? Stone Age people didn't have buckets and spades. You see, today we are living exactly as people did in the Stone Age. Tea time for thirsty Stone Age people. Oh, lovely. Do Stone Age people drink tea? Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure if they could have had tea, they would have had tea. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, all this digging has made me rather hungry. Me too. Let's gather berries. Yes, yes berries. Mmm, mm. strawberries. Mm. Ah, you're eating all my precious strawberries. But that's what Stone Age people did. Well, can't you do some other Stone age -y thing instead? I suppose we could chase woolly mammoths. Good idea. But there aren't any woolly mammoths now. Grandpa Pig can be a woolly mammoth. Yes! yes. Oh, all right. If it keeps you away from my strawberries. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. You run and we will chase you. OK. Ho, oh, ho. I'm a woolly mammoth. <sighs> We're coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me. Yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we carry the mammoth back to our cave. Yes. Lift. <laughs> Oh, the mammoth is a bit too heavy to carry. Actually, Grandpa Pig, would you mind walking? Oh, very well. No. <laughs> the Stone Age people have arrived back at their cave. Hmm, it's going to take ages to dig a cave with little bits of stone. I have an idea. Where's my telephone? Granny, did Stone Age people have telephones? Uh, no. 
But if they could have had telephones, they would have had telephones. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Hello, Mr. Bull speaking. Hello, Mr. Bull. Could you come and dig a big cave for us, please? I'll be right there. Marvellous. Thank you. Stand back, everybody! Mr. Bull has arrived with his digger. Granny, did Stone Age people have diggers? No. But I'm sure if they could have had diggers... They, they would, would have, have had, had diggers. diggers. There you are! Hooray! Now we can decorate our cave with paintings. Just like Stone Age people did. I'm painting us chasing a woolly mammoth. I'm painting Granny with a cup of tea on the telephone and Mr Bull with a digger. Oh, exactly how it was in the Stone Age. <laughs> <laughs> in the future. Pepper is at Susie Sheep's house this evening. Mummy Sheep and Mummy Pig are going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow! In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh! But grown ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun. Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh. <laughs> night, night. Sleep well. Night, night. night. Uh. Susie. Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. I'm going to the cinema and staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> I'll drive. So will I. <laughs> 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 Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes! I'm off to space! <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr! <laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman. Hello, hello, hello! What's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <laughs> Very good. Off you go, then. Bye! What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> what will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> In a big house with fountains and a swing, <laughs> and I will marry Pedro or Danny, and I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello, and all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> but who will look after all these children? We will. Bedtime, everybody! Time for your tea! No football in the house! Phew! Phew! 
Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep have arrived back home. Hello! Has everything been okay? Yes, everything's been fine. Hello! Are you two still awake? Yes, Mummy. We've been thinking about the future. <coughs> it's very tiring being a grown-up. Yes, it is. <sighs> we need to get some rest. Yes, you do. Good night, little ones. Good night, grown-ups. Pepper and Susie need a good night's rest to be ready for the future. Fire station practice. Today is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Peppa. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! 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 ..into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 <laughs> Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady, go! Mummy dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose and Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. Steady, Mummy! Steady! The target is hit and the fire is out. Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes. Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on. OK. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes. And how do we get super fit? On the fire station obstacle course. This is the fire station obstacle course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go, go! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? Oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. Ah! Woo! Through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <sighs> And down the yippee zip wire. Yippee! 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 Oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Everyone likes.
bikes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles to jump in. The sun castle. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George have come to the seaside. <laughs> I'm going to make a sand castle. <laughs> I want to make a sand castle too. And me. Okay, George and me will show you how. <laughs> Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. Good. Now, lift up the bucket. Ta-da! 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 Pepper, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Yay! Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together, like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sand castle. Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too, with her daddy. That's a good castle. Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sand castle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Ah! Wendy Wolf is using pebbles to make the castle's bobbly bits. And it needs flags. <laughs> Pepper and George are collecting little sticks and some seaweed to make flags. <laughs> it needs windows. <laughs> Pedro is using shells to make windows. There. What a fantastic sandcastle. Let's add a moat. What's a moat? You'll see. We dig the moat all around outside the wall. Good idea. Everyone help dig. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to fill the moat with water. Let's get water from the sea. <laughs> 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 the moat is full of water. The castle's finished! Hooray! I wish it could be my home and I could live in it. <laughs> You're too big to live in a sand castle, Pepper. Here is Mr. Crab. He's come to take a look at the castle. Hello, Mr. Crab. Do you have a home to live in? Aw, oh, he looks sad. <coughs> I don't think Mr Crab has a home. He can live in our castle. Yes, in you go, Mr Crab. <coughs> oh, but how does he get across the moat? He needs a bridge. <coughs> <laughs> George has found a piece of driftwood. <coughs> George has made a bridge. Mr Crab likes the bridge. But he can't get inside the castle. We just need to make a little door. Mr Crab is the king of the castle. <laughs> it's the best sign castle in all the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family are going to a shopping centre today. That's a big shop. It's not one shop, Pepper. It's lots of shops all under the same roof. Wow! But we're not shopping today. Not 
not shopping at the shops? No, Mummy's here for a perfect day experience. Ooh. This is Miss Rabbit's spa. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for your perfect day experience? Yes, I think so. But what exactly is it? Oh, lots of lovely things. You can have a massage. <clears throat> have your fingernails painted. Or have a herbal face wash. Oh, that all sounds lovely. Do we have to do it too, Daddy? No, Peppa. We can go and find our own perfect day. Oh, goody. Bye, Mummy. See you later. Where are we going to find our perfect day, Daddy? Hmm, I don't know. It's just shops and shops and... Ooh, magic moving stairs. That, Peppa, is an escalator. Can we go on it? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah, you're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. Peppa and George are back at the bottom. But Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. Papa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> you a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> again, again! I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Mummy, did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Peppa. Did you? Yes. We went up and down the magic stairs and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time! Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end! To a perfect day! <laughs> <laughs> botanical gardens. Today, Pepper and George are going to the botanical gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the botanical gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This 
is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap. And you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the fly trap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus fly traps do not run. <laughs> oh dear. George is a very sad Venus fly trap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. <laughs> buzz, buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No, our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop them melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow! wow. Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. Uh -huh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. <laughs> wow. Come on, George. Whee! Pepper loves all the botanical gardens, especially the muddy one. Breakfast club. Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Is it because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to playgroup early because today is breakfast club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at breakfast club? Eat our breakfast! Correct. I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... 
What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Got it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm me. Me. I'm I'm me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh. It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again, again! No, children, eat the toast you have first. <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has <laughs> lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> we use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam. Toast, toast, toast. Breakfast is... Christmas at the hospital. It is Christmas Day. <laughs> Pepper and her family are opening their presents. Ah, yes. Socks. Just what I always wanted. Oh, I've got socks too. Lovely. I wonder if you've got socks, Pepper. Uh, I hope not. Hooray! A toy car! Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Don't be sad if it's socks, George. Oh, what a fantastic Christmas. <laughs> yes. All I want to do now is sit back and do nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> Pepper, George, careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My arm! Oh, dear. Pepper has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm. I think we should call Dr Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Pepper, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? That will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. 
Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke, to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the x-ray. Ooh, what's the x-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ooh! The x-ray shows your arm will be fine, Peppa. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Look, I got a sticker. That's nice. Oh, Pedro, you look sad. I'm sad because Father Christmas hasn't been. What? Haven't you got your Christmas present? No, not yet. Right, who's next? Ah, oh, good. At last. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> Father Christmas! Yes, he's much more important than me. <gasps> Father Christmas! Sit yourself down, Mr Christmas, and tell me where it hurts. Oh, no. I'm not here because I'm ill. I'm here with Pedro's Christmas present. Thank you. I wonder what it is. Hopefully it's not socks. Hooray! A toy boat! Sorry I'm a bit late, but I got my tummy stuck in a chimney. Those chimneys get smaller every year. Oh dear, tummy stuck in a chimney? Maybe I should just give you a quick checkup. Open wide. Say ho, ho, ho for me, please. Ho, ho, ho! Good, you're fine. Have a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for looking after everyone at Christmas time. Just doing my job, Father Christmas. Just doing my job. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Recorders. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will learn how to play recorders. Ooh. Take a recorder each. <laughs> now, does anyone know how to play music on the recorder? You blow it like this. <gasps> no! oh, but that is not music, Peppa. That is a horrible squeaky noise. To make music, we must play in a way that sounds... Uh, not horrible? Yes, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Lovely. You see, all music is made from notes. We just play the notes in the right way. Order. That looks easy. No, do it like this. No, like this. No, ah, stop, stop, stop. That was not music at all. No, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> <laughs> and why was that? We weren't playing the right notes. And they weren't in the right order. So let us begin by learning the first note. <sighs> this is hard. It will get easier with practice. Now, this is the next note in our tune. Bravo! It is home time. The parents have come to pick up the children. And remember, practice, practice, practice! La, 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 la. Oh! 
somebody is learning how to play the recorder. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you. While I, uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practising too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practising their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Ah. Oh. Hard. Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> <laughs> the electric car. Pepper and George are in their bedroom. Vroom, vroom. Car. George is playing with his toy car. Is it, George? Car, car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy's home! <laughs> <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No, I'm just trying it out. It looks funny. It's an electric car. <laughs> It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh! Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow! This car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? <laughs> it's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow! wow. I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car! <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. hello. What's going on here, then? 
Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa, what in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving licence. Oh. oh! So, Roger, do you have a driving licence? Oh, of course. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye! Bye. Drive safely! Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. Drive, drive, driving along, <laughs> driving while I sing a song. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far. Knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh, where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Peppa. You too. Peppa loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. Strawberries. Peppa and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Peppa and George love <laughs> strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? <laughs> You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. What? Is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh. You cheeky bird! So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> it's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow, so many strawberries. Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Peppa. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Peppa. <coughs> yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. <coughs> Maybe it's time to go home. 
Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. What? Strawberries? Oh. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Oh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. Miss Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. It's a lovely sunny day. Rebecca and Richard Rabbit have come to play with Pepper and George. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer, please? Sorry, Pepper. I need to do my work today. Oh. Why don't you go and play in your room instead? But we don't know what games to play. Oh, there's lots of games you can play. You could have a tea party or do a jigsaw puzzle. We've already played with those things, Mummy. <coughs> what about your marble run? You haven't played with that for ages. Marble run! Pepper and George <laughs> love their marble run. What does it do? Squeak! You pick a marble and you put it in here. And it goes tumble-tumble all the way down to the bottom. Ooh. I'll show you. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> again, again! Bye-bye, Mummy. You can go and do your work now. Oh, thank you, Peppa. Have fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Rebecca. You take this marble and you... Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. And then you can add some more bits to the marble run. Let's make it the biggest marble run ever. Yay! <laughs> Let's add this wiggly bit. And a windmill bit. The marble will make it go round and round. Do you want to have a go, George? <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's going down the windmill bit And the wiggly bit And there Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> let's add more bits Yes, let's make the biggest marble run ever <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that looks good, Rebecca Now it's Richard's turn Marble run! Richard has lots of marbles. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Look at all the marbles going everywhere! <laughs> I thought I heard your marble run, Pepper. Can I join in? Yes, Daddy. Oh, goody. Let's make it bigger. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves building the marble run. Oh. There are no more bits of marble run left in the box. Oh! Never mind. We can use other things. Like this jigsaw. And this doll's house. We want it even bigger, Daddy. I'll go and see if there's anything in the office we could use. Aha! <laughs> Look, Daddy. We've added some more bits and bobs. Very good. And I've found these tubes to make a tunnel. Wow! The marble will go all around the room. This is the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. Ooh, can I go first? OK, Daddy. You have to put the marble in there. Ready, steady, go! The marble is going all around the room. Ooh! It's going all around the world. <laughs> there it goes. Dinosaur. 
<laughs> Where's it going now? The marble has rolled out of the bedroom Down the stairs Through the hallway And into the front room The whole house is a marble run <laughs> It's bouncing everywhere Ah, Goldie the fish Whew. Got you Hooray! <laughs> What was all that noise? It was the noise of the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. To me, George. Vote to me. <laughs> Mr Labrador is here in his new ice cream van. Ice cream! Hooray! Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Hello, Mrs Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. oh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. <coughs> what do you want, George? Ice cream. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, lovely. Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then, can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> hmm, maybe I've tried too many myself. Yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes, we used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. <laughs> Up the board now, take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! Let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt. And wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Pepper. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Pepper. Ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me and I think it might be ready. Did it work? Yes. Ooh. Mmm. It's the best ice cream in the world. Yum, yum. Granny, can all my friends come for ice cream? Of course they can, Peppa. Oh, in that case, we'll need to make a lot more ice cream. Hooray! Hooray! Ice cream! All of Peppa's friends are here for ice cream. Hooray! Can I have banana? Can we have raspberry? Can I have blueberry, please? Here you go! <laughs> Thank you, Peppa! Mmm, that's delicious! Have you got carrot flavour? Oh, I don't think so. Yes, we do. Made with carrots from my very own garden. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love ice cream. 
We all love ice cream, Mr Labrador. Yes, but I really love ice cream. Um, <laughs> Funny music. It is morning. Pepper and George are having breakfast. Daddy Pig is about to go to work. Who could that be? Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Bye now. Bye-bye. What is it, Daddy? It's a synthesizer. Ooh. What's a synthesizer? I'll show you. Wow. It's a little piano. Yes. It is like a piano, but with buttons. What do the buttons do, Daddy? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, here's a book that tells you what the buttons do. Ah, it looks a little more complicated than I thought. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll learn all about it while you are at work. Thank you, Peppa. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's play the synthesizer. OK, first we need to switch it on. Then we can play it just like a piano. Ooh, can we have a go? Yes. We are good at the piano, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do the buttons do? We can use the buttons to record sounds. What kind of sounds? Anything you like. Say something, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> That's me! Now we can play the sound like a piano. <laughs> <laughs> can we do some recording? Of course. Say something, George. I saw. George, this is you. I saw. <laughs> Let's do lots of sounds and surprise Daddy. What a good idea. Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> even in the garden. Pepper, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy. There's just one more. Come on, George. Follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. <laughs> Pepper is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me. We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh it certainly is. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> it is morning. Peppa and George are playing in the garden. Look, George, a lovely muddy puddle to jump in. <laughs> Peppa, George, come on, we're going out. Oh, 
But we wanted to jump in muddy puddles. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find lots of puddles today. We're going for a lovely walk in the woods. <coughs> oh, are there puddles in the woods? Yes, I should think so. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> I love muddy puddles. Splishy, splashy puddles. I love muddy puddles. La da dee da do. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the woods. Ah, I adore woodland walks. The birds singing, the dappled sunlight, the... Where are the puddles? There's one. Hooray! <coughs> Muddy puddles! Oh, this puddle is not very muddy. That's because it's got leaves and twigs in it. Not all puddles are muddy, Pepper. Hmm... This puddle is twiggy. And it's crackly. So what would you call it? A twiggy crackly puddle. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I would have to agree. Woodland puddles are twiggy and crackly. Can we find a puddle that's a bit more sploshy? OK, but we'll need to go somewhere else. Why don't we go to the beach? Yes, the beach. Looking for muddy puddles Splishy, sploshy puddles Looking for muddy puddles A la da dee da do. <laughs> this is the beach <laughs> Look! Puddles! <laughs> oh, this puddle isn't muddy That's because it's made of sand and water So what shall we call it? It's not... Twiggy crackly, it is a scrunchy, crunchy puddle. <laughs> it certainly is. Beach puddles are scrunchy, crunchy. <laughs> Can we find more sorts of puddles? Let's try the playground. Yes, the playground. <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles. A la da dee da do. <laughs> this is the playground. Puddles! <laughs> what kind of puddle is this, Peppa? It sounds splatty, so I will call it a splatty puddle. <laughs> Excellent description, Peppa. <laughs> Playground puddles are splatty. <laughs> Time to go home. What a fantastic day out that was. Yes, we've learned about all kinds of puddles. First, the twiggy crackly puddle. In the woods with the leaves and twigs. Then the scrunchy crunchy puddle. At the beach with the sand and water. And the splatty puddle. In the playground. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad we didn't find any muddy puddles. <laughs> I know where to find the best muddy puddles. Pepper and George have arrived back home. <laughs> muddy puddles! <laughs> so, Pepper, what do you call this puddle? It is splishy and splashy sploshy. A splish, splash, splosh muddy puddle. No, Daddy! <laughs> it is the bestest puddle in the world, so I will call it... A pepper puddle! <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in pepper puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in pepper puddles. Butterflies. Today, Dr. Hamster is at Pepper and George's playgroup. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster has brought an exciting creature to show us all. Can you guess what animal it is? Is it a whale? No, it's smaller than a whale. Is it an ant? No, it's bigger than an ant. Is it a big ant? It's a caterpillar. Wow! Lots of caterpillars. Yes. There's a stripey one. The stripes help it to hide in the grass. There's a furry one. <laughs> Can we stroke it? Uh, no, Molly. It might give you an itchy rash. 
The spotty one is eating a leaf. Yes, caterpillars like eating leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's colour in our very own paper caterpillars. Hooray! <laughs> I'm doing a spotty one. <laughs> I'm doing an orange one. I think black and white stripes look nice. <laughs> well done, everyone. Now, who can tell me what this is here? It's a leaf. It might look like a leaf, but it's not. It is a chrysalis, which is a shell for a caterpillar to hide in while it sleeps. Ooh! Is it like a cosy bed? Sort of. But when you go to sleep and wake up in your cosy bed, you're still Peppa Pig. Yes! But when the caterpillar wakes up in its chrysalis, it has turned into something completely different. Can you guess what it turns into? A whale! A pirate! Has it turned into a super caterpillar? No, none of those. Look, it's moving! The chrysalis is hatching. Ooh, what is it? Dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a butterfly. The caterpillar has turned into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Who wants to decorate one of these paper butterfly wings? Me, 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 me. <laughs> All the children are making beautiful butterfly wings. <laughs> oh, lovely. Can we do a butterfly dance? Yes, but we don't start as butterflies, do we, children? No. no. What was the butterfly before it was a butterfly? A caterpillar. That's right. First, you should do the caterpillar dance. Yay! <laughs> You're all caterpillars wiggling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm the wiggliest caterpillar. Me too. I'm a super caterpillar. <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Be very still, children. Imagine that you're nice and safe inside a cosy chrysalis. And you are changing into something different. Madame Gazelle and Dr Hamster are secretly putting the wings on the children. Now it's time to wake up and open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got wings! Me too! We're butterflies! <laughs> Pedro Pony is fast asleep. Vicky, Vicky, Pedro! <gasps> what is it, Mummy? Am I late for school? No, you are at school. Oh, I'm a butterfly. Nay. No. Yes, we're all butterflies. We are little butterflies who like to play. We flap our pretty wings and we play all day. We are little butterflies flying through the sky and we flap, flap, flap as we flutter by. <laughs> Peppa loves being a butterfly. Everyone loves being a butterfly. Detective Potato. Peppa and George are watching Detective Potato on TV. Help me, Detective Potato. I cannot find my bicycle. Aha! This is your bicycle. Uh, no, it is not. Then this is your bicycle. Yes, it is. Thank you, Detective Potato. <laughs> Detective Potato is great at solving mysteries. He's the best detective in the world. Right, that's enough potato for today. We're going to the shopping centre. Oh, goody! I love the shopping centre. What are we going to buy at the shops? A big bag of gravel. I'm trying out a new concrete mix idea. Oh. This is the shopping centre. First, Daddy Pig has to find somewhere to park. Hmm, this floor is full. So where do we park, Daddy? Don't worry, there are lots of other floors. Oh, this floor is full too. Ho, oh, oh, ho, up we go. Everywhere looks the same. Yes, 
That's why you must always remember what floor you park your car on, so you can find your car again. I don't believe it. Not a single space. There's a space. Brilliant. Well done, Pepper. The car is parked. Now we take the lift to the shops. What button do we press? Let's see. Are the shops on floor six or floor three? Here we go. Floor five for the shops. Here is Miss Rabbit's gravel shop. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. One bag of gravel, please. Help yourself. It's heavy, so I hope you don't have far to go. Oh, <laughs> I only have to carry it to the car. <laughs> My goodness, that is a bit heavy. I hope you find your car. I'm always losing my car in that huge car park. <sighs> what button do I press, Daddy? Just press the number of the floor we parked on. So, what floor do we park on? Uh, good question. Let's try level six. Where is our car, Daddy? It doesn't seem to be here. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has lost the car. Uh, let's try another floor. This is fun! Pepper likes going up uh. and down in the lift. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Here are Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Is there anything we can help you with? Daddy has lost our car. Well, it's not really lost. I've just forgotten exactly where I parked it. A lost car in a place of hundreds of cars where everywhere looks the same. This will be a very hard mystery to solve. Name, please. Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig. Address? Can't we just look for the car? <laughs> I'm afraid not. This will take time to solve. It's not like on the television where they solve mysteries in a flash. <laughs> Detective Potato! At your service. Detective Potato? Daddy lost our car. Aha! That is a mystery only I can solve. Thank you, but we don't need any help. We have the situation under control. Quiet, please. I need silence to work. This is your car. Uh, no. This is your car. Nope. This is your car. Yes, that is our car. Detective Potato has solved the mystery. Hooray! Oh, well done. That was amazing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's all in a day's work for a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Do you know what today is, Pepper? Is it my birthday? No. Is it your birthday? No, it's Valentine's Day. What's that? On Valentine's Day, you tell the people you love that you love them. Usually with a special card, like this. Happy Valentine's Day, Mummy Pig. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Roses are red, violets are blue, you are so lovely, and I love you. Hugs and kisses, Snufflekins. Oh, I love you too, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho! Mummy, do you have a card for Daddy? <coughs> oh, I gave it to Mr Zebra the Postman. You gave a Valentine's card to Mr Zebra the Postman? Yes, he'll deliver it with the post today. Oh, I see. It is time for playgroup. Mr. Bull is cleaning the windows. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Does anybody know what today is? It's window cleaning day. Apart from it being window cleaning day? It's Valentine's Day. Very good, Pepper. It is the day to give cards to the people we love. My daddy didn't get one this morning. What? Oh, how sad. I've finished cleaning the windows, Madam Gazelle. Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, dear. You look sad. Oh, I just heard that Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine card. 
No Valentine's card. No. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. Children, today we will all make Valentine's cards for the people we love. Yay! I'm going to make a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. I'm making a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> I'm making a Valentine's card for Super Potato. And one for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> Mr Bull has gone to the supermarket. Hello, Mr Bull. You look sad. Well... I heard this morning that Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. No. Really? Did you hear that, Dr Hamster? Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. Ah, oh, poor Pickle. Did you hear? Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine's card. Oh, dear. What was that? Nobody's ever given Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. <gasps> <laughs> what wonderful cards, children. I am sure whoever gets them will be very happy. <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, we made Valentine's cards for you and Daddy. Oh, lovely. Pepper and George have arrived home. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day, Daddy. For me? Yes, Valentine. <laughs> Fantastic. Did you get a card from Mummy yet? No, not yet. Ah, Mr Zebra. Busy day? A very busy day indeed. Look at this sack full of Valentine's cards. Have you got a card for me? No, I haven't got a card for you. Oh. I've got a whole sack full. Ooh. There are hundreds of Valentine's cards, <laughs> all for Daddy Pig. Hooray! Daddy Pig, who sent you all these Valentine's cards? Oh, it wasn't you. No, I sent you this one. With love from Mummy Pig. Who sent all the rest? Um... Happy Valentine's Day, Daddy Pig! Everyone has sent Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Pepper, George and Mummy Pig love Daddy Pig. Everyone loves Daddy Pig. <laughs> Made up musical instruments. Pepper and her friends are at playgroom. Today, children, we will be playing musical instruments. Hooray! <laughs> I'm going to play the tambourine. I'm going to play the recorder. I'm going to play the triangle. <laughs> we are not playing those musical instruments today. What? We will make our own musical instruments. But we can't make musical instruments. We're children. I am not asking you to make a piano or a trumpet, Peppa. We will be making musical instruments from all of these bits and bobs. Bottles and rubber bands. <coughs> Balloons and yoghurt pots. Music can be made from anything that makes a sound. Ah! How do you usually make sound with a musical instrument? You hit it with a stick. You blow into it, like this. <coughs> or you shake it. <laughs> yes! Now, let's see what sounds you can make from these things. The children are going to make musical instruments. This box sounds like a drum. Oh, this is not a very good drum. Ah, but what happens if you add rubber bands? No, it's the same. Try plucking those rubber bands instead of hitting the box. Oh, it's not a drum at all. It's a twanger. <laughs> Susie has some bottles. These make a sound if you tap them with a pencil. Yes, and if I put different amounts of water into the bottles... Now try it. The water makes the bottle sound different. That's right, Susie. You can also blow across the bottle tops to get a sound. 
<laughs> You're making music! Wow! George has a bucket. Oh! Blowing on the bucket does not make music. Let's put some water in your bucket, George. <laughs> Here is a straw. <gasps> <laughs> George is making bubbly music. I'm going to make music with a shaker, some beans and marbles. There! Oh, wonderful shaking music, Peppa. It goes very well with George's bubble music. <laughs> Freddy Fox has a balloon. Funny, Freddy. What instrument will you make, Madame Gazelle? This is my favourite made-up musical instrument. Madame Gazelle has a musical instrument made out of drinking glasses. Do you blow them like my bottles? No. Do you hit them with a stick? No. Do you shake them? No. I play them with my fingers. Wow! Hello. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Oh, you are just in time to listen to our made-up musical orchestra. It's made out of bits and bobs. Ooh. Ooh! Children, I will start and then you join in. The parents like made-up musical instruments. Everybody likes made-up musical instruments. Grumpy Rabbit's jetpack. It is a lovely snowy day. Pepper and her family are on a winter walk. What's that noise? It's coming from Grumpy Rabbit's boatyard. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? Ah, I've been working on my latest project. Ooh. Ooh. What is it? Well, I couldn't decide between building a sledge or a jetpack. Oh. But as we've had all this snow, I decided to build a, a sledge. sledge. A jetpack. <laughs> It's my personal flying machine! Wow. wow! That must have been very difficult to build. Uh, not really. It's all about calculating the weight to fuel efficiency ratio. Uh, once you've done that, you just bash it all together with a hammer. <laughs> Amazing! Yes, pure rabbit craftsmanship. Does it fly? Well, I've not tried it yet. Let's find out. Safety harness, check. Fuel, check. Cheese sandwiches, check. Uh, could you hold my lunch for me, please? Is it safe? Yes, it's only cheese and bread. No, I mean the jetpack. Of course it's safe. I built it myself. <laughs> Moments from now, I'll be flying high with nothing to see but the clouds and the sky. The clouds, the sky, the clouds, the sky. How does it work? Easy. I just press this big red button and... Well, it definitely works. <laughs> I can see him. Look. Woo! Woo! Oh. Grumpy Rabbit has landed on Snowy Mountain. Let's check he's OK. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit speaking. Grumpy Rabbit, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, but my jetpack is broken. We'll rescue you, Grumpy Rabbit. Thank you, Peppa. Let's call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit, Grampy Rabbit needs to be rescued. I'll be right there. She'll be right here. Come on up, everybody. Right, 
to the rescue. Uh, where are we going? To Snowy Mountain. Righty-ho. Trapped on a mountain with just the snow for company. I should have made a sledge after all. Here is Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Saved! I'm saved! Tie this rope around you and we'll carry you home. Ready! Oh, we've run out of fuel. Oh, dear. The helicopter has stopped. Do we need rescuing now? Yes. <gasps> if only we had some other way of getting home. <gasps> <gasps> We're moving! Grumpy Rabbit is sliding down Snowy Mountain on his jetpack and pulling the helicopter with him. <laughs> Through the trees, down the high street, Hello, sorry, excuse us. Across the frozen sea, and back to Grumpy Rabbit's boatyard. <laughs> Yes, it was. Thank you for rescuing me. Actually, Grampy Rabbit, it was you who rescued us. I suppose I did. I built a jetpack that turned into a sledge. <laughs> Grampy Rabbit loves jetpacks that turn into sledges. Everybody loves jetpacks that turn into sledges. 